Questions 36 to 38 in the Acer Blue paper. Question 36. So we know that an indicator comes in two forms. That is the acid, the protonated acid form, and the unprotonated base form. Um, if the solution is more acidic, then the acid form will predominate and vice versa. So now we know that. It's also helpful to know what the pKa is. So the pKa is the value of the pH when the acid and base forms of the indicator are in a one-to-one -one ratio. So if the number of protonated acid uh, indicator molecules equals the number of base form molecules, then the pKa is equal to the pH. And we can quickly show this here. So the pKa is equal to pH minus log 10 of concentration of the base form indicator on concentration of the acid form indicator. Um, so if this is in a one-to-one -one ratio, that is the indicator in the base form is equal to the acid form, then overall um, that is going to equal to one in those brackets. So what we get is pH minus log 10 of one. So log 10 of one, um, if you are familiar with your logs, you'll know that that is equal to zero. So therefore the pKa is equal to the pH. So now that we know those two separate things, the acid slash base form of the indicator and what the pKa exactly is, now we can start trying to answer the question. So as according to the stem, either form has a specific color. So usually the overall color of the solution is a mix of the two colors. For example, bromothymol blue has a acid form color and a base form color. So that is yellow and blue. Now, if we're quite close to the pKa value, um, such as for bromothymol blue, if the pH was 6.8, what we'd see is um, in the solution, the indicator would be above a combination of yellow and blue. So that would result in a overall green color. But if one form predominates, the acid or base form, um, then only that one color will be shown. So for example, again for bromothyl blue, if the solution that the indicator is added to is very acidic, so say like the pH is one, then the acid form of the indicator will predominate. And if that happens, if the pH is um, extremely acidic, like pH equals one, then only the yellow form will be produced um, and the base form won't really appear at all. And therefore the indicator would appear completely yellow. So where is this threshold of being one color or being a mix of the two colors? Well, the threshold occurs when the ratio of the um, base form and the acidic form are either uh, greater than 10 or less than 0.1. So what this is essentially saying is that if the concentration of the base form is 10 times greater than, um, than the uh, acidic form, um, only the base form will predominate. So say for example, we assume that the base form is 10 times greater than the acidic form. What will happen is the pKa will be equal to the pH minus log 10 of 10. Because the if this is 10 times greater, then that means that um, the uh, ratio of the base form over the um, acidic form is equal to 10. So if that's true, then what we can say is the pKa is equal to the pH minus one. So therefore the pH of a solution um, in which the um, base form is 10 times greater is equal to pKa plus one. So therefore what we can say is if we can see the indicator has the base form color, so say bromothymol blue um, has uh, is presenting with only the color blue when dropped into 
uh, a solution of unknown pH. What we can say is that we know for certain the, ba the pH of that solution that the indicator has been dropped into is at least one, um, plus one or more than the pKa value. So for bromothalm blue, if we dropped um, that indicator into a solution of unknown pH and the color turned blue, well then we know that the pH of that solution is at least greater than 7.8. So one greater than the pKa 6.8. So in summary, the threshold at which the indicator will change from a mixed to a single color is where the pH is plus or minus one to the pKa. So let's try and answer question 36 using this information. When thiobothalene is added to the first test tube, it is colorless. So what we know is two things from that statement. One is that the acidic form of thiobothalene is dominating. And two, that it is a single color and not a mixed color. So from these two pieces of information and the overall summarizing statement that we've got on the screen here, we can say that the pH is going to be less than 9 because the pKa is 10 and we know that if there's a single color the pH is um, plus or minus 1 to the pKa. In this case it is minus 1 in regards to the pKa because we are the acidic form is predominating um, so therefore we're moving towards the acidic direction. Um, so therefore, we can say that the pH is less than 9 as according to test tube 1. So using the same logic for test tube 2, we'll find that the pH must be greater than 9 because alpha naphthophalene it appears colorless, sorry, it appears blue when we're added to the second test tube and that is the base form and we know that the pKa is equal to 8, so we'd expect the pH to be at least 9, so greater than or equal to 9. So with these two uh, little snippets of information that we've gathered from um, just applying that sort of knowledge, we can conclude that the pH in this mystery solution must be equal to 9 because according to test 1, the pH must be, um, sorry, it should be less than or equal to, less than or equal to 9. Whilst from test tube 2, we know that the pH is uh, greater than or equal to 9. So the only overlapping pH between the two is a pH of 9 on the, on the dot. So therefore, the pH of this mystery test tube is 9. So using this information, we could predict what sort of color thymol blue would appear if added to a test tube of pH equals 9. And... So we know that thiamol blue has a pKa value of 8.8. .8. So since a pH of 9 is within the plus or minus 1 range of the pKa, we can therefore say that it's going to be a mix of the two colors, yellow and blue. So therefore the color that will appear will be green if thiamol blue was added to the third test tube. And therefore D is the correct answer to question 36. Question 37 asks us for the range of pH values over which any of the indicators will completely change from the color of their acid form to the color of their base form. So we know that the range at which the indicator will change is plus or minus one to the pKa. So therefore the entire range is a range of a pH range of two. And therefore the correct answer is C. There are a couple ways you can answer question 38. I'll show you the algebraic way. For starters, we have pKa is equal to pH minus log 10 of N on M, and that's for bromithymol blue. If we just sub in all the values, we get 6.8 is equal to 7.1 minus log 10 N on M. Um, from there, we get 0.3 is equal to negative log 10. 10 of n on m so therefore 0.3 is equal to log 10 of n on m
Now if we do the same thing for the other indicator, we get this equation. And from there we get 0 0.3 is equal to negative log 10 of s on r. This gets us 0 0.3 is equal to log 10 of r on s. So if you're familiar with your log rules, you'll know that the any coefficient at the front of the log is equivalent to a power within the brackets of the log. So in this case, our coefficient is negative one. So we're essentially saying s on r to the power of negative one, which is the same as saying r on s. So now we've got these two basic equations. We can equate each other because um, o point, they're both equal to 0 0.3. So we get log 10 of n on m is equal to log 10 of r on s. So therefore we can say that um, the bits inside the brackets are equal to each other um, and that essentially um, n on m is equal to r on s. So therefore n is equal to r and m is equal to s. And if we look at our answers, that sort of looks like what D is trying to say. And we can sort of confirm that by uh, figuring out which form is going to be more predominant, the um, NR form or the MS form. Um, M represents the concentration of the protonated form of bromothymol blue. Bromothymol blue has a pKa of 6.8, which is um, under the pH of the solution. So therefore we'd expect the deprotonated form to be predominating. So not M, but in fact N would be the large one. So we'd expect essentially that um, M equals S is less than N equals R. And therefore D is the correct answer.